Hey everybody, we have some great books for you this week. This is one of Vice Principal Quincy's favorite. It is Gaston by Kelly DiPuccio, who we saw last week with Una and one of our favorite illustrators. We have seen him all year, Christian Robinson. So this is a great book and we get to see the sequel tomorrow. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Oulala, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Oulala, and Gaston. Perfectly precious aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so, too. The puppies grew, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. This book has a lot of peas. Poodle, pride, puppies, proper, pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good, well done, very nice, nice try. They were taught, they were taught to yip, never yap. Yip, 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 rough. Oh boy, Gaston seems, seems a little bit different than the others. This reminds me of Stella Luna, when Stella Luna was um, hanging with those three birds. And they were taught to walk with grace, never race. Tip-toe, tippy-toe, whoa. So if I'm thinking of some similarities with Stella Luna, and good readers look for similarities, when Stella Luna wanted to hang upside down, and the birds sit, I say right side up, but, you know. And Stella Luna liked eating fruit, and the birds liked eating worms and insects. The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Oulala, and Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. What do we think is happening in this story? This was more than a little awkward. The mother sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. Oui, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. What a hard decision. Gaston and Antoinette were young. 
But even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with Grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Phooey! On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick! Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. Who's Mrs. Poodle looking at? Who's Mrs. Bulldog looking at? The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right, and felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Beefy, Fufu, Ulala, and Gaston taught, taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. What cute little puppies. Guess you can figure out why this is one of Vice Principal Quincy's favorite books. Gaston. All right, you're going to enjoy, if you enjoyed this one, you're going to enjoy the book tomorrow, too. Have a good day.